Hey everyone, welcome back to my Fairbrush Reviews and today I've got to do five really good high heat summer fragrances. So yeah, let's, let's go straight ahead and into my first choice. So this is Versace Man O Fresh. And so this is a really nice high heat summer fragrance and I've got like loads of compliments with this fragrance. I remember I went to, it was it was kind of during the pandemic when we had, um, we were just meeting up outside and we went, me and my friends went to this park. I remember spraying this kind of a lot, like it, I kind of heavily sprayed it around me and I, I remember it was like a shorts and t-shirt day, it was like deep summer, maybe like June, July or something and it was great and I mean it was cool because we were like meeting up in the pandemic for the first time, like one of the first times and I remember one of my friends like gave me a compliment and I was just like wow, like you know these people don't normally notice what I'm wearing, but this projects like a beast in the um, in the sun. So like, you know, direct sunlight um, is really good for this. So what I get from this is you immediately get kind of like a citrus blast and a really fruity sort of smell, which I think is the carambola fruit in this, which is quite um, kind of a fresh, sour, but slightly green sort of tinge to it. It's got a woody sort of backbone as well. Let me let me spray some actually. So it, yeah, I don't really get the citrus and the fruitiness. It kind of dries down to a musky sort of ambery, spicy but woody sort of scent. And it's just really fresh and it does really well in high heat. Like don't wear this in a cold, on a cold day. Um, it has to be sunny. Like I think the sun needs to like hit you on your neck or wherever you're wearing this and it would be great. So that's that. Number two, another Versace fragrance. So Versace Por Homme, which is a classic, it's a classic fragrance for summer, for, for high heat situations. Now this one is like a quintessential sort of fresh scent and it's got a powderiness. So compared to the Mano Fresh, this one is gonna be way more powdery. Um, it's gonna have more of a, not a makeup-y vibe, but kind of, a powdery sort of herby feel to it and I think you know this has clary sage in it and cedar and it's got more of an aromatic sort of feeling and I think yeah the clary sage and the cedar give it more of a herby sort of feeling so if you like that compared to like more of a fruity fresh um, opening or like scent which was the Mano Fresh then I would go for this one but yeah it's a great scent it's really good um, I really recommend it Next, I've got one which I haven't had that much experience with, but I'm, I'm really hoping to wear this this year. Uh, so this is the Chrome Intense, Azaro Chrome Intense from the House of Azaro. Now this one, I'm gonna have to spray this, so I'll give you my initial impression. So immediately I got kind of a ginger and a citrus sort of vibe and uh, you know definitely get more of a floral uh, feel with this and I think it's got a floral note called Hedione in this but I definitely get the ginger from this and it's like a really fresh ginger it's really nice like um, it would do great in in the summer great in high heat situations but it's also got a husk, uh, uh, sorry, a musky and herbal and slightly medicinal scent to this. Um, and a kind of, it's, you know, one of, the, one of the notes is oak moss on Fragrantica, but um, it's got that kind of vibe maybe, but I wouldn't say it's very oak mossy. It's, it hasn't got the traditional oak moss um, from the old school fragrances, but it's definitely got like a woody, musky and ambery dry down, I, I would feel. Um, but this would be much more herby, I would say, than floral, even though it's kind of noted as a f having a floral scent to it. And it just looks beautiful. Like I think in high heat situations, like the sun's coming out right now, this would do great in that situation. So yeah, this is much more of a gingery herbal one compared to the previous two. So moving on to the next one. So the next one I've got YSL Lom, which is one of my signature scents. This one, guys, is a classic. 
it's a much warmer scent compared to the other two. Like it would be, like you wouldn't normally have this in a list of um, high heat, but I would. Because in my experience so far, um, you know, I, ha I got this 50 ml bottle and I put a massive dent into it in over like maybe a month or something. I was only wearing this and when I was in the car, it wasn't like summer yet, but because of the heat in the car and because of the sun kind of shining into the car and it became like a greenhouse effect and the sun was directly going on my neck and on my skin where I, wherever I sprayed this and the projection, it's amazing. And what you get with this is like a an apple sort of scent. There's definitely an apple note and it's much sweeter. It's got like, I mean, it's kind of, it's got like a sweeter vibe than the other three that I've just shown you. But yeah, it's it's sophisticated, classy, um, and it's got some, a slight aquatic, set, uh, a slight aquatic um, note to it. Like, I don't know what it is exactly, but it feels a bit marine also. So kind of a warm marine sort of feel to this one, but it does, really good in direct sunlight. So that's why I would recommend this for um, high heat and summer situations. And last but not least, uh, so this one's a new one that I got, um, Eternity Summer Days, which I plan to wear in the summer. So I'm gonna spray this. So this one's like cheaper than the others. Um, I mean, the Versace ones are pretty cheap too, but yeah, so this one is super sweet compared to the others, I would say. It does give me like a suntan lotion vibe. Like it feels like the smell of the suntan lotion when you put it on your face in the summer. And I can easily see this being worn on the beach. And I actually like that kind of suntan smell. It kind of reminds me of the summer and it's got like a fruity and beach, beachy kind of vibe to it. And I think this is much more aquatic and kind of green as well, because it's got like a mintiness that's coming through. And I can definitely detect like the, the watermelon note. It's just like, this would do so well on a really hot day at the beach. So I would really recommend this. Eternity Summer Days. Um, it's a really good one. It's a cheap one um, for, your, for your budget. So yeah, those are my five really good high heat summer fragrances. So hope you really like this video. Uh, if you did, please like and subscribe and see you in the next one.